welcome back to the channel today a different video this one is all about the driving visualizations that part of the left side of the screen what it looks like under the new um, autopilot package the auto steer on city streets commonly known commonly known as the fsd beta so uh let's get right to it and i hope you like it okay guys i am back everybody um this video is not going to be showing the car making the turns this video it's going to be showing different things on the visualization screen without thinking or worrying about the actual nav navigation or the location where we are going so i'm just going to be driving around and i want you to take a look here at the screen and uh, see if you notice anything uh, um, very very interesting you can clearly see the lanes you can see objects that are around uh, we just saw a, a speed sign the speed limit here is 45 miles an hour and since I didn't put any navigation destination um, I'm going to turn on the basically the autopilot so that it can do the lane keeping and we can continue watching the screen for anything interesting here. I have a car on my left side and that car is going slightly quicker than me, faster. So it should be showing up on the screen here in a second. There it is. So obviously the when the vehicles are a blue box with a little blue circle on the back, I guess that indicates the direction of the vehicle and that it's moving. Right now they are applying the brakes. The box still looks the same. Now ahead we can see that there's other objects. You got cars in front of me. Okay. So the car just basically slowed down here for the traffic light. I don't have to do anything. Uh, it's supposed to go straight. So I'm gonna leave the autopilot engaged and it should not attempt to make a right or a left or anything like that because I don't have navigation turned on. If I did turn on navigation, that is when the car would make the decisions on taking turns. I have also noticed that sometimes, um, like for example, if it approaches a stop sign without you having navigation and you have autopilot turned on, then it kind of wants to make a right at the, tra at the stop sign. Um, so, oh, look at that, that person, that's a person in a bicycle, so it showed us another uh, moving blue box. Um, let's see, okay, so we're here behind this car, everything looks good, nice acceleration. The car's kind of trying to keep up with the car in front of me while staying within the limit, which is fine. There's another car passing me on the left side. There's another sign, speed sign there. You can see it. You clearly saw the speed. So interesting because the car in front of me now looks like a blue box. I mean like a green box. But the cars next to me it looks like a blue box instead of green. I'm not sure why the difference in colors. But I have a legend of that, so I'm gonna check that out later. Also, we are in a turning only lane, and like I said, we don't have a navigation turned on. I actually want to just keep going straight here on this road, uh, because I think this road ends uh, a little bit further ahead, so... Um, and again, the point is to see the visualizations here. It's just a drive to show visualizations. 
I don't have to worry, like I said in the beginning, I don't have to worry about where we're going and how good it's being done. I want to analyze and look at just the screen, see what that looks like. See the vehicles that are crossing, see the vehicles that are moving, the median. I just heard the little chiming bell because the traffic light changed. You see the traffic light over there. The speed changes here to 25. Let's see if the car sees that. There it is. It changed automatically. Okay. Oh, there's a roundabout. I'm going to try that. Um, let's see what that looks like. Okay. It's kind of a roundabout. So there's a yield here. The car is slowing down. And we're gonna keep going. Let's see where it goes. Okay, so it just took the the same lane where it was. Okay, that's good. Uh, maybe not what I would have done, but it did that. And again, no effort for me to keep control of the car. All I did was just hold the wheel like I was driving. So we just made a stop here. You can see the stop sign here. Uh, I'm looking to my left, there's no cars coming. I can move the screen and kind of the car camera is giving me a visualization of what's around us. So now I'm just gonna keep driving. This is a nice drive just to look at the visualizations uh, and see if we can discover anything new that we may expect to become part of the new release that will be rolled out to the public at some point. Uh, there's another roundabout here. Um, I actually want to turn this on again and see if it slows down again for the yield. Yes, it is. It's looking. There's a gate, so let's see what it does. Okay. Okay, nice. So it was a little bit jerky. I saw all around me there were no cars. It invaded a little bit of the left lane, but if there were cars coming, and I've seen that already, it doesn't do that. So I guess that when there are no cars, it takes a little bit more liberty into being safe where it's driving. The car is still managing this road. I have it at five, uh, five miles per hour under the limit just because I really want to enjoy looking at, at the road but at the same time with my peripheral vision looking, looking at the visualizations. Okay. I see that it's very nice, very centered in the lane. Now this is a funky street that even I don't know what we're supposed to do here so I just want to see what the car is gonna do here. Um, there's someone there. Okay. I just disengaged because it was a little bit too close to the curb. And I don't want to curb my wheels. <laughs> That, that was even, I'm not even sure, that little road is kind of weird there at the end of the street. So, let's just keep driving here, see the different streets. You can see them marking red. And even, like right now, there's a yellow line in the middle, but even if there's no yellow line, if it's a two-way road, the navigation kind of draws that. See the, the stuff in the middle on the median? It's purple, and then we go back to the yellow lines. There's a lot of water here right now because it was pouring down really hard earlier. Oh, there's a roundabout again. Let's see what it does. I don't know why it's putting the signal. Okay, it turned it off. I guess it's just being careful. Oh, it went to the right. 
So basically stayed on the lane on that roundabout. There's a vehicle here. Wow, it avoided it perfectly. See, there are no lines here and the car is avoiding obstacles. It's keeping on the right side of the road. Speed limit here is 25, which to me, I don't know, it seems like it's a little bit high. I'm gonna lower the speed. There's some people on the on the street there. Oh, actually the car kind of lowered it more than I did. Huh, interesting. Okay, so now we are at a stop sign and the car just decided it wants to make a left. Let's see how that goes. There are no cars coming and I disengaged because it did not look. I was gonna make the left lane, the left turn. Okay, so now we are on another road. We're still checking out the visualizations. At this point, it's getting a, a little bit boring. Nothing new, really. Um, I guess I'm gonna make a left here. All kinds of details on this intersection. You can see the medians on all four sides. You can see the traffic light. There's people on that corner. The light just turned green and it chimed. There are cars coming over, so I'm just gonna take it slowly here. Let's move to the right lane. Again, right now I'm driving. We're just taking a look at the visualizations. See the cars on the far side of the road coming towards us. You can see, the, uh, see them as yellow, very dim yellow boxes. Cars going in our direction are blue. Hey, well, that was it. Um, that was a different type of uh, video showing uh, the new full self-driving beta, uh, which is the way it's commonly known. It's really the package of uh, auto steer on city streets, but without turning on the navigation, mainly to see all the you know interesting things that you can see on the screen while the car is going through the road and then of course some interesting moments there with the uh, engaging the auto steer at the end uh, with a couple of roundabouts and the car uh, avoiding obstacles so i hope you like the video if you like what you saw feel free to subscribe and if you want to get notified don't forget to click the bell so thanks for watching and i'll talk to you later <laughs> and i'll talk to you later take care stay charged Bye.